Shalom, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wawar Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets. You women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai. Because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? We have to look forward to deliverance, man. We understand, you know, hell and destruction. A lot of things are coming to the earth. But the Lord is planning on delivering his elect. And for you Israelites outside of America who may come across our videos here in Babylon, if you are a believer, if you are a fellow Israelite and you are a believer, okay, look forward to deliverance. You have to have hope. You have to have faith in that, okay, because the Lord is going to save his elect all throughout the whole earth, no matter where you are no matter what you may look like. And that's why I always said that at the beginning of my lessons, no matter where you may be or what you may look like, because the, the seed of Jacob has been dispersed all throughout the world. All right? So I think to set this lesson off, I want to touch on the book of Isaiah, chapter 11 and verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea no, no matter where you may be on this earth because here in Babylon, we understand two thirds are going to be destroyed. But you know what? Just as the Lord's going to have mercy on his elect all throughout the earth, he's also going to get you wicked Israelites all throughout the earth. Okay? Who do not want to repent. But no matter where you are, no matter where you may be or what you may look like, no matter, you know, how tall or short you are. Okay, no matter if you're, you know, super dark skin or you may look like an Edomite, if your spirit resonates with this word, if you believe in what we teach, you are an Israelite, my friend. Okay, and we're everywhere. Don't get so caught up in what you look like. And that can be part of your battle. That's part of your fight. But if you believe, regardless of how other Israelites may treat you. Don't let that discourage you because, again, we're in this truth and with that comes opposition, even from our own. All right. Let's go to Zechariah. You have to give me a second. I'm trying to multitask here because I'm driving. Zechariah chapter eight and verse seven. Thus said the Lord of hosts, because the Lord is a man of war. The Lord of hosts, that means the Lord of armies. Okay? Thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. So our people are everywhere. Not just here in the west country, not just here in the western hemisphere, not just here in America, but even all the way in the east, all throughout the earth, no matter where our people may be, if you believe in this gospel, if you believe in the truth of the scriptures, look forward to deliverance. Yes, again, all hell is going to break loose. Some of us will have to be martyred, but look forward to deliverance. Look forward to how we're going to get out of this. Look forward to, you know, the great things that the Lord is going to do to bring us out of whatever situation we're in. Look at things that you've already gone through and the Lord got you through it. Why wouldn't the Lord keep going? Okay? 
So this is about all Israel, all throughout the earth, no matter where they may be, okay? So we have to have faith and hope that we may be delivered. Let's touch on the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 23 and verse 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries. <coughs> Excuse me. So not just here in America, not just here in Babylon, is there going to be a great deliverance. But all throughout the world, throughout many different countries, the Lord is going to bring a great deliverance to his elect. Man, woman, uh, girl and boy. Okay, if you are of the elect, which the 144,000, those are all men, but you have female elect too, you have the elect lady, the Bible goes into that. <clears throat> okay? And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them. So the Lord has driven us throughout all countries. Speaking of the seed of Jacob, which would make the Israelites. And I will bring them again to the foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. Verse Verse 8, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries. So not just the north country, not just North America are we going to be delivered, but all countries. Okay, but America is known as Babylon in the Bible. That's where the bulk of Israelites are. All the 12 tribes are here. Okay, Judah, all the way down to Issachar. Okay, the southern and the northern kingdom is, is all through America. All right. And from all countries, whether I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So we're getting ready to go back home, man. Get ready for deliverance. We have to look forward to what the Lord's about to do for us, man. Here it is. And evil is coming to this earth like never before. An evil that we can't even really speak of. But yet, the Lord is going to do things for us that are going to uh, outweigh and outdo things that he's did for us in the past. He's about to show up and show out. Think about it. The Lord has been hiding his face from us all this time. So you think when he comes back after being on what seems to be a long journey, he going to come back for play? No, man. He's coming back to slay and to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. So with that, I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wawrakakwadash. Lord willing, this was simple and edifying until my next lesson. Lord willing, Shalom.